It was. Uh, um, I said, "Who is this dapper man eyeing me up in the mosh pit?" <laughs> and I think he very much had the same thought. <laughs> no, not even, not even half. But yeah, um, I mean, I guess if you want to get. Goosey, free form. We don't try and adhere to, you know, we're gonna start out with an establishing shot and then move into a close up and then make sure we get some nice cutaways to the hands playing. No, we we keep it in a single take. And from day one, we've been doing that with Dan Dusselet, where we just found this abandoned train bridge and turned the camera on and said play. And it was just as much of a performance for us, we felt, as it was for him. So how does how does that first shoot differ from some of your more recent ones where you kind of had some? We plan how we're gonna get to the location before we get together on the shoot day, and that's pretty much all that's changed. It's still it's still very much we show up, we ha we know exactly what we're gonna do, but we don't exactly know until we get together with an artist yeah. and we start collaborating and start tossing ideas around and we just take the best option on the day. I think the I think the biggest difference actually is that it's just more comfort with how mm -hmm. uh, unpredictable the day is, right? Like before, it was scary, uh, not knowing what the plan was because you're so used to adhering to a shot with a set schedule. But when we go to the artist now, we understand some since we began. It's just been sharing, just constant artist yeah. sharing. We get together with our camera, we go out, we shoot these artists who wrote songs, playing music. Sound recorders come in, photographers come in, event planners come in, and it's just been constantly people coming in 